Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. On October 15, 1962, local and state newspapers announced that final evacuation plans were being made for Natchez residents as the U.S. Corps of Engineers began dredging close to four sunken barges carrying canisters of chlorine gas lying at the bottom of the Mississippi River. The barges were part of a convoy of 16 being towed up from New Orleans to South Charleston, West Virginia for use by the Union Carbide Company. The barges sank in March 1961, approximately seven and a half miles south of Natchez near Marville Plantation, Louisiana, and it took approximately 18 months to pinpoint their exact location. Although the Corps didn't expect to raise the first of the barges until late October, Massive evacuation plans were implemented against the remote possibility of a leak. Acting upon the request of Governor Ross Barnett, President Kennedy declared an extreme national emergency due to the potential dangers of public health and safety. The director of the Office of Emergency Planning called the situation without precedent in the history of the country, warning the 80,000 residents that they faced an unknown potential danger if there was a gas leak. As part of Operation Chlorine, as the exercise came to be known, the Mississippi National Guard had 1,800 troops in place with almost 900 trucks ready to evacuate the population of Natchez. The Public Health Service reported that 20,000 gas masks and 15,000 cots and blankets were being sent into the area and that the Red Cross was setting up a number of canteens. Helicopters from Fort Sam Houston, Texas were on standby, as were area radio stations and volunteers to help spread the word of an accident. Mayor Nasser and Sheriff Farrell pleaded for Natchez residents to remain calm and stressed the potential for disaster was small. By October 25th, newspapers were able to report that the first of the four tanks had been successfully raised without incident. My name is Bill McGee, and I'm here to help with this Natchez History Minute. In October of 1962, I was a junior at Natchez High School. I also raised and trained horses that I kept at Hawthorne Plantation here in Natchez. We went to school every day doing the chlorine operation, and one day the principal, J.O. Brown, asked me why I had a horse trailer behind my Jeep. I told him that if the balloon went up, I was leaving Natchez with two of my horses, and I would not leave them all here to suffer from the chlorine gas. Fortunately, they raised the barges without any problem, and all of Natchez and all of my horses survived without a problem. Thank you.